<clears throat> Alright, it's Saturday, so we're biking. Actually, I have to be home by like noon or one uh, because we're going to play some games. But for lunch with Scott today, I'm going to show you how much of New York you can cover in one morning if you have a bicycle, because bicycles are the best. So you can see behind me is the George Washington Bridge. And in front of me, let me just switch the camera around. All right, you can see Manhattan over there on the left side of the river and shitty New Jersey on the right side of the river. So obviously I didn't start here. I got here after leaving the house. Uh, I had a little hold up in Central Park, so I lost some time, but uh, you know, let's see where we stop next. All right, so maybe 30 to 40 minutes ago, we are at the George Washington Bridge. And now, we are at the exact opposite end of Manhattan, the World Trade Center. Uh, it's pretty tall. Uh... Yeah, bikes are pretty fast. Let's see where we can get to next. We still got a lot of time before we gotta get home. <clears throat> All right, it's only been like 10 minutes and the place we are now isn't really far away from the World Trade Center, but I'll show you anyway. This is the Manhattan Bridge and that is the Brooklyn Bridge. Never go on the Brooklyn Bridge, you'll notice Brooklyn. Both bridges mostly go to the same spot. They're not too far from each other. Right? The only reason to go on the Brooklyn Bridge is if you have a car and Google Maps tells you to, or if you're a tourist and you're on foot and you just want to see it. Right? The Manhattan Bridge is the bridge you use if you want to get between Manhattan and Brooklyn at the bottom part. Right? And that's the bridge we're going to use right now. All right, we are now at Grand Army Plaza in Brooklyn, next to, of course, a fountain. There's some people getting wedding photos back there. And we also got the Brooklyn Public Library, and Prospect Park is over here. So, gonna take one bike around, or maybe two bikes around Prospect Park, and then go home. I should be home and not in time for lunch. All right, we're here on the Pulaski Bridge. This is the bridge to get from Brooklyn to Queens and vice versa. Uh, I don't know who Pulaski is, but I know that on the Brooklyn end of the bridge is the neighborhood of Greenpoint, which is a very Polish neighborhood. So Pulaski is probably <laughs> an important Polish person in that neighborhood. Uh, just this year, they opened up this bike path. You can see to the left of me behind my head. It used to be the pedestrians and the bikes were mixed together on this pedestrian path. And it sucked. They took away a lane of car traffic, they gave it to bicycles, and now it's amazing to go over this bridge. You get over it so fast, so easy, it's wonderful. Uh, we only got one stop left. It's home, All right? All right, so it's about 12.30. Uh, it's pretty much exactly 12.30, and we're home now. Check that out. I went to many, many places in a very short period of time thanks to the power of bicycle. Don't forget, the best way to move a human being around on the earth, the most efficient form of transportation that has ever been conceived by nature or by man is bicycle. Right? Uh, if you want to see where I was today, I used Strava and I'm going to put the link to the Strava trip in the description of the YouTube video so you can click on that. Uh, other than that, it's time for lunch with Scott because I haven't eaten since I left the house at 6, 7 in the morning. <laughs> 